Lip Smack and Campin' is brought to you by MSR Stoves and Cookware, makers of the legendary Whisper Light Stove and the award-winning Reactor Stove System. MSR has been fueling outdoor adventure for over 40 years. Hi, I'm Christine. And I'm Tim. And welcome to Lip Smack and Campin'. Today we're gonna to show you how to make pineapple upside down cake for the trail. What you'll need first is four slices of dried pineapple or one can of pineapple dried. In this case, I used Crush because it's gonna rehydrate more quickly. One cup of Bisquick, one tablespoon of sugar, and one fourth cup of brown sugar. You're gonna put these into three different bags. The first bag is gonna contain the pineapple. The second bag is going to contain a Bisquick sugar mix. And your fourth bag is going to contain your brown sugar. You wanna help me bag? Why, certainly. Okay. If you're using the pre-dried pineapple, you're gonna to try to cut it into small pieces, as small as possible, because you want it to rehydrate as quickly as possible on the trail. If you are drying your own pineapple, then you're gonna shred it into as small pieces as you can. And these are the three parts. And as always, we wanna label them, if possible, bringing them together into the same bag so you know what they are uh, when you're looking for them in the backpack. All right, so one of the important steps is to write down how much water you're gonna need when you get to the trail. In this case, we're gonna use one cup of boiling water for the, uh, <clears throat> to reconstitute the dried to, pineapple. Okay, one cup of boiling water. Okay. And to bring the bisquick to a dough, we're gonna use one third cup water. Okay. okay, we're ready to go. All right, so we have one cup of water that we're getting started. And we're gonna add our dried pineapple to that and we're gonna start rehydrating it. And Tim's gonna add one third cup to the biscuit mix. The purpose here now is to get the pineapple from chewy to soft. And you can actually, you know, put water in it actually before you get started to expedite this process. Um, oh, that smells good. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and our pineapple looks like it's rehydrating well. We're gonna go ahead then and add the brown sugar, sprinkling it evenly over the whole area. And then once I do that, Tim's going to add the batter. And it can't, it may not be perfect when it goes on. It's going to expand when it cooks, and so that's not really a problem. We don't, we don't worry too much about beauty out here. We're going for flavor. So Tim's turning on the stove, and he's gonna set it on low simmer. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna to try to steam this Bisquick mix and create the bread topping over our pineapple upside down cake. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and we're gonna take a look and see how our pineapple upside down cake is doing. Ooh. Looks good. Now we're not expecting any browning because we're steaming the biscuit this time. So we're just looking to see if, it, if it's cooked and in fact it is. All right, let's try it. Make sure it's cooled down. That's good stuff. Another winner. Another winner. You did good. We'll see you next time on Lip Smack and Camping. For hundreds of mouthwatering camp recipes and invaluable information for making your next camp trip memorable for all the right reasons, check out Tim and Christine Connor's best selling series of books. For more information or to purchase books, visit lipsmackandcampin.com.